Hello guys and welcome back. In the previous part, we hopefully created our auth state and also auth repository and we connected these two together and overall we connected it to the sign in for model where we are able to connect to the server and getting this response. And in this part, first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, you know, connect to the server and also complete the sign up part and we'll try to accomplish the error handling and also storing the access token if the time permits okay so to do the to do the sign up part it is mostly similar to the sign in part so i am first of all going to copy this artist state and i'm just coming here inside the sign app for model and I'm going to paste it so let me bring this class here so it is the same way and the same mechanism that we did in the previous video okay so right now we have the access or we are able to get this art state and how we can get it because we initialize it or we inject it in our main file so we are able to get it there inside the sign app so the same way I'm going to copy from the uh, this method I mean this submit sign in method I'm going to copy it and I am going inside this uh, uh, what we can say inside this sign app for model I'm going to paste it here just I am going to change the name of this method and I am going to remove it till here so we have this one but right now it is different so inside the artist state we should have a method called sign app with different parameters so these are our parameters so this is even those greater than equal to six okay so but right now we are calling to the sign in but what we can do is from we can start from the repository so the same way as I mentioned previously First of all, I am going to copy the, the method sign in method and I am going to call it as sign app. And for the sign app, we need all these parameters. So we need these things. So let me just copy from here and inside the repository. I am first of all going to paste it here. So for ease of access. So we have the first name we have a string last name so these are required we have the email we have the password and also finally we have the password confirmation so these are all parameters that we need to have inside our sign app model so these are all required first name last name email password and password configuration related to this so let me delete this commented lines and as I mentioned in the previous part about the benefits of creating abstract classes first the abstract classes are easy to test whenever you are going to you know have some testing mechanism in your application and also it will help you to do not miss the implementation or the country the implementation of the methods that you require so right now what we need is we need to press the control dot or command dot on Mac and we are going to have all these you know these parameters so let me put a comma here and save it so we have this formatted nicely and we need to implement it so currently we don't have any a type of implementation and in the last part I missed one one thing and that is we are going to do it for our error handling so I am just going to uh, have some comment on that we can use a try and catch because we know that uh, this catch should be do error so on catch do error so we call it as uh, on do so we need to call it on do error we need to call it catch 
so we'll call it as E and for now I am just going to print that E so or E dot response so E dot response so we have it hopefully here and what we need to do is first of all we need to call to the endpoint that we have for our uh, you know if you remember for our register or we call it as let me go to the back end here we have the register so we have the register so what we need is we have this part similar to that and here also first of all we need to create this method as async and we need to wait for the response that we will get from the server and we need to wait for it so we'll call the force at api if you remember from the previous video that we created we have the dio so we need the post method and for the path i am just going to paste the path but this is the register so register and we need to pass the data so the data that we are going to pass is this part and so let me put a comma here and a semicolon here to save format it nicely so the data that we want to have for our register method if you just let me go to the register controller or the odd controller here what we have is for our for the register method what we need is the first name last name email and password but this password needs the confirmed so this confirmed if it is dear what we want is we need to have the password confirmation dear so we have the first of all we have the first name so this first name is our first name we have the let me just do it like this last name so this is the last name we need to have the email we need to have the password password and finally we need to have the password confirmation in this way so gosh so let me delete this one I missed it so we have the password confirmation so but this field is just used by the laravel authentication this confirmed if you remember previously i mentioned that so for now what i'm going to do is i am just going to print this response for the testing purpose later we'll try to have some caching mechanism using shared references or anything so we'll need to print it right now for the testing purpose we'll test the response okay so we have it like this and for error handling so right now we are not able to touch on that first let me complete this uh, sign up and if the time permits and video is not getting lengthy I am going to perform the error handling in this part otherwise I am going to uh, you know do it in the next video so we have this uh, sign up method and the same thing let me copy this part I am going to go to the odd state here first of all I am going to copy this sign in method so sorry sign in method and I am going to call it as sign up for the sign up what we need is all these things and one thing I noticed inside the repository also we need to have all these things as required because if you remember so let me put it like this and uh, I am going to put the required here as well so this uh, required I don't know if this required is coming from where so we have this required and yeah it is coming from the foundation so these fields are even though it's it's written here sorry we don't need that here oh, I missed this part so we have it so I thought we don't have this required part here 
and inside the art state we have this required fields so what I'm going to do is I am going to copy it from this part of the repository and I am just going to paste it here inside the art set so we have it wow I really missed <laughs> okay so we have all these parts and what we need is we need to call the sign app and for the sign app you can see that we need those parts and right now these uh, red you know this yellow is quickly lines mentioning that password confirmation is required or first name is required so what we need is this sign app and for the sign app first of all we have the first name so first name last name last name email email and password password so this shouldn't be password confirmation so it is only password we have password confirmation as password confirmation so basically we are passing this parameters of this function to the same uh, function on the repository and we are getting a result so that's it and uh, inside the sign up for model what we can do is we can have the sign up from the from our uh, what you can say from our auth state and for that we need to provide other parameters like the first name we have the this dot first name because this dot first name we are getting from this form if you remember from the previous parts we are getting it from the uh, forum uh, by uh, if we are connected this forum model to our ui and we get these parameters so right now we are able to pass it so this dot first name we have last name as this dot last name so email and password is there so finally we need to have the uh, password uh, confirmation as this dot password confirmation so that's it so right now we have all these fields so let me go through one by one we have it so this is our sign up let me first of all close all these tabs and uh, open this sign up for model we have it so let me create a breakpoint here let me put something as test for now test uh, test at email.com password should be again I'm going to call it as password password confirmation as password and password does not match really so we have the password wow how it is not matching so let me go password confirmation if this dot password is not equal to this dot password confirmation so this dot password we set the password here mm, gosh we throw this error otherwise this one so right now even though i believe it is strange we need to do something like this one first of all let me print for the testing purpose print this dot password to check the password that we have so let me save it let me open the terminal if i over here and if i put something here we have the password and if i put the password it is the same but still we get this one if this dot password is not equal to this dot password confirmation so can see i think i missed this one so let me oh gosh not this dot password confirmation but password confirmation because we are passing it here so surely this password confirmation is null by default so these are not equal okay i missed that got okay so let me save it 
and let me put this one as password so right now we are good to go and if I press this sign up button you can see we are here on this uh, sign up uh, fun sign up function so let me click on the next step we are good to go yeah so we have the last name email password confirmation so let me just move on so right now we are in the odd state okay we are in the repository okay so hopefully again we got this response means that our sign up or registering the user is also successful so how we can check it let me go to the database so select from the user i am going to order by id descending so we have the latest user and that is the test test so we don't have the bio we have the email we have the password we have everything that we need so later on this profile picture remember token and everything we can add it later so this was all about the sign up part and hopefully we did it so right now you, you can see how easy it is to do it even though in the first part it took a little bit time to just put all this diagram together creating these states repositories and connecting the you know state and repository to the models and uh, right now if we, once we accomplish that it is really easy and just it's a matter of copy and pasting so this was all about the uh, signing part and i believe if i continue with the uh, error handling and also uh, caching or storing the token on the um, device or do something else this video will get lengthy so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this video here and i am going to do the error handling and also uh, caching the um, token and also getting the odd user or the authenticated user information in the next video so again thank you for watching kindly subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified about the next video